the most interesting fact of the speech was the emphasis. There was not a meaningful word for the entire duration about the things that actually matter to people who live here, like crime or inflation or fentanyl or the foreign army now occupying our country. Joe Biden doesn't care. There was no upside for you in any of the things that he said. But he does have a present for you. He's got something to give you, something you want very badly. Here it is. Look, it's a decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. The Supreme Court majority wrote the following. And with all due respect, justices, women are not without electoral, electoral power. Uh, excuse me, electoral or political power. You're about to realize just how much you were on that. Those bragging about overturning Roe v. Wade have no clue about the power of women. But they found out when reproductive freedom was on the ballot, we won in 2022 and 2020, and we'll win again in 2024. <laughs> Oh, well, you can't have a safe, clean country or groceries you can afford or schools that will educate your children. But you can't have abortion. You can have a lot more abortion. How about some more abortion for you? That'll make you happy and free. You can have all the abortions you want. But of course, you already could have all the abortions you want. Abortion is one thing, maybe the one thing that's pretty easy to get in this country. Critics scrutinize Tucker Carlson for neglecting pivotal issues such as crime, inflation, fentanyl, and the presence of foreign companies. This oversight can be construed as a dismissive stance toward pressing concerns. Issues related to priorities and values articulated in speeches become the focal point of critique. The emphasis on abortion over concrete matters raises questions about the meaningful prioritization of societal values. Joe Biden's framing of abortion rights in his speech. Warren's analysis, potentially seen as a strategic shift from tangible and immediate problems to a divisive social issue, possibly serving as a tool for ideological communication, exploring the references to abortion. Within the broader context of freedom and happiness, an investigation is warranted. This inquiry should delve into how political messages connect individual freedom and happiness to specific policy choices, potentially shaping perceptions of an individual's autonomy. Examining how Tucker Carlson's analyses mold public perceptions of speech and administration, criticism can be interpreted as an endeavor to sway public opinion by framing speech as disconnected from the genuine interests of everyday citizens.